But first, we begin this evening in Austin, where the 86th Texas legislative session got underway, and there's a lot for lawmakers to discuss. Chris 6 News reporter Emily Hamilton is live tonight from Austin with more on how day one went. Emily. Hey, Paulo, the swearing in ceremonies on both the House and the Senate side of the state capitol wrapped up around 2 o'clock this afternoon. And we're told that this week really is more about pomp and circumstance, formalities and getting organized. But first thing next week, lawmakers will get to work. The general consensus seems to be the same among both the House and the Senate. At the forefront of this legislative session, property taxes and funding for public schools, especially schools impacted by Hurricane Harvey. We caught up with all of our Coastal Bend reps in their offices today, and Senator Juan Chuy Hinojosa is optimistic that a bigger budget this session will help lawmakers achieve big things. Uh, so we're looking, uh, this session is having at least uh, enough money uh, to make education a priority. The big issue is going to be education, that's how you fund schools. You know, our area got hit by the hurricane, we were the first hit. And we had schools that got collapsed and you had to take kids to other schools. So the question is going to be, how do you help schools when a hurricane hits? The 86th legislative session reconvenes here in Austin tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock for some more informational sessions before the House of Representatives breaks this weekend for a four day weekend. Reporting live from the Texas State Capitol tonight, Emily Hamilton, Chris Six News.